We are back at Japanese car heaven, Torque GT, and Martin is this close to being back on the road. I could spend all day checking out stuff like this NSX, but let's go see him, he's just next door. In the last video, we got some paint on the car, so today is all about building him back up. He'll start here in the workshop, where we'll get the bumpers and scoop back on. He'll then head through to the workshop, where some brand new parts will go on. And then finally, he'll head through to the detailing booth, where he'll get the full Torque GT spruce up. Something has happened while we've been away. The wheels have been refurbed. These were as scabby as they could get when the car first came in here, all rotted and huge divots out of them and they were sent away in the last few days. You guys may have spotted, we had different wheels on the car in the last episode. They were just borrowed from a legacy just so they could move it around while these were being refurbed. They were done at Southwest Wheel Repairs and don't they look amazing? That gold looks top notch. Could these be the most iconic set of alloy wheels ever? Quite possibly. Steve, good to have you back on the channel. Thank you. There's been another couple of bits added recently. I can see these nice, yeah. fancy, shiny brackets back on. Yeah, basically we only put those on because Subarus do suffer from the bumpers dropping. So new brackets, nice. bumper up nice and high. And this morning is all about just flying all of this back on the car and yep. getting them looking like an Impreza again. That's about it. Steve, do you like the Black Eyed Peas? No. Good. Before Martin gets dressed again, I'd like to introduce the sponsor of today's video. They're a massive supporter of the Drive Tribe channel. It's Car Vertical. Let's say after watching all of this Japanese car content, you fancy one. You fancy yourself a Honda S2000. Not this one, this is super JDM and fancy. But let's say you come across this one here online. You type its registration or VIN number into Car Vertical using the discount code DRIVETRIBE to get 10% off, and you will get a full comprehensive report on the car's history, immediately stating whether it has ever been stolen, crashed, clocked, or has any outstanding finance. Surprise, surprise, there's an amber warning in the accident section. I think you know what's coming. And by scrolling down, you check out the car's history. It's failed a few MOTs in its past. It has changed the number plate a couple of times, but the mileage graph looks like it should, nice and stable. In the photo section though, we're in trouble. That is, that's a big one. It looks like this poor S2000 has taken a big front right hit, ripping off the wheel and suspension in the process and absolutely blutering that front crash structure. The amount of bent metal coming down from the A pillar, especially from this picture here, also tell me that this car is seriously bent and potentially beyond repair at all. But if you scroll back up, the report says that despite that level of damage in November 2018, this car then went up for sale fairly soon after. So use our exclusive link in the description below or the discount code DRIVETRIBE to get 10% off when you use Car Vertical and not end up buying cars that once looked like that.
So we've just got Martin back together and now he's in the workshop and we're going to start tearing him apart again. Paul, the plan is to get some upgrade parts on him, so exhaust and brakes. Are they easy jobs on this? Yeah, not too bad. The exhaust's pretty straightforward to swap out, so obviously okay. take off what's on it, put on the HKS that so we've got to go back on it. So I'm used to working on rusty, crusty British cars. Yep. There's not been too much rust bodywork wise on this, so are we expecting some sheared bolts or should it all come off okay? Anything could happen, yeah, just depending on how our environment's got to it or wherever it's been. But yeah, we'll have a go and fingers crossed it will come apart as it should. Okay, I guess the main thing for me really is the cat, because that's the final thing that will get this car road legal again. Uh -huh. Flat four, is that trickier than normal or is it just getting down in there? Yeah, they're not too bad on these. Obviously, we're going to have to remove the intercooler and stuff to get to the turbo to take the cat off because it's bolted direct to the turbo. Yep. And then we'll pull it off and swap it back for the MOT version. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's see it. I was slightly terrified that doing this exhaust work, this enormous sump guard, it's crazy thick, would be in the way. But thankfully, the guys that installed it have put this nice cutout that leads straight up to the top of the cat system there. And there's one bolt that we need to get out. It's quite far up there, but Paul's an expert. He should be able to pack that out in no time. Everyone, please welcome to the channel Maz from HKS. Maz, thank you so much for coming down. You've brought some parts with you. Tell us what they are, apart from the obvious, a massive exhaust. Massive exhaust, pretty much what you asked exactly. for. Exactly. So this one is what we call the silent high power uh, style exhaust for cool name. the Impressor uh, GDV. Mm -hmm. um, silent and high power, normally a bit contradictory. We yep. try to <laughs> find a good balance for both. Uh, this one for your car, uh, 75 millimeter piping, so about three inches you know, metric folk, mm -hmm. uh, and goes out to 120 mil tail tip. So almost as big, if not bigger than what you've already got. Should flow enough for five, 600 horsepower. It's uh, oh, wow. a good application for anybody running, even stock power, want to make a, a little bit more uh, of a sporty tone without going crazy loud with it, but should flow everything that you're currently planning to do with uh, your Impressor in the future. So we've got our CAT system that's come from Japan. That's going to combine with this and that's what's going to make this car road legal. But I mean, <laughs> looking at this tip, I thought it was going to go from Canon to you know, something a bit more subtle. But <laughs> as you say, this could be even bigger than what's on the car currently. Um, so do you promise me this is going to be road legal in the UK? <laughs> uh, yes, the, your sound level is more dictated by the cat than it is sure. from everything behind it. So that uh, should But yes, chill it should out. do. We've just got to make sure we've got a few things that are right because uh, the impressors are very finicky when it comes to the exhaust. Okay. Every specification, uh, whether it's Japanese spec, UK spec, continental Europe spec, all have slightly different length them. exhausts here and there. But uh, this one is made for a Japanese car. That's an originally a Japanese car. The downpipe that you've got is supposed to be for a Japanese car. So everything should <laughs> work out. Okay, if all the codes align, we'll be fine. Shall we do a test? I want to see whether this is bigger than what's currently on let's the car. Let's have a look. Okay, let's see how they stack up. Maz, do you want to take off the bubble wrap? Yeah, sure. See how they compare. I, I can't quite see. That looks quite close. I, th I think that's going to be pretty similar. Okay, so if any of you were worried that Martin was going to lose his cannon, in fact, he's getting an even shinier one. What's ideal is that within torque, there's torque parts. Just through there, there's essentially a warehouse full of Japanese car parts. So if you need any parts for your car, the chances are torque are gonna have it somewhere through there. So we've got the brakes literally from off the shelf 20 yards away and now they're 
going on the car. With the new brakes on, this thing should stop a lot better. My main question though, does it still sound as antisocial? What does that HKS system sound like? Let's find out. Oh, much better. Not having my eardrums completely blown out. A little bit of a rev. Oh, infinitely better. Whenever I drive this car around my neighbourhood, my neighbours aren't going to scowl at me as I go past now, but still, you know, engine's cold so I don't want to rev it too much, but you can just tell on the move, this car is going to sound much more like it. That's all the mechanical bits and pieces done. Thankfully, Torque has a really nice detailing bay here, so now it's time to make that Subaru Blue really pop. Along with a right good polish, we've shipped in some brand new decals and badges to take care of those last few satisfying details. Martin has been welded, painted and has some fresh parts on him. You could say we have rescued the Subaru Impreza? Well, nearly. Unbeknownst to you guys, during this video, we sent Martin away for his MOT because we'd sorted the tires, we'd sorted out the cat, it should have been road legal. We have actually got incredibly lucky because on the MOT stand, one of his brake pipes burst. That could have been very bad. If this had burst one braking event before or one braking event after the MOT test, this car could have been in a pretty horrific shunt. So we've got very lucky that this happened while it was static and being tested for its brakes. That means that Martin is gonna stay here at Torque GT for a bit longer. We sadly can't drive him away today because although a brake pipe should be simple. That specific one is hidden way in the car. It's actually incredibly difficult to see and it's corroded underneath the car's interior. We actually need to rip out half the interior to swap that pipe out. So it's gonna stay here a bit longer and then we'll start creating content out on the road with him. On that front, I need to have a chat with Richard. Are we diving straight in with engine work to tune this car up to the number that he wants? Or are we gonna drive it in its stock form, see what it's like, and then think about tuning it? I'll have the chat with Richard and you guys will see the result of that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I've been Mike, and don't forget to subscribe to Drive Tribe.